morning. How are you this morning? <sighs> a couple of days ago, our landlady came by for a walkthrough and do the yearly renewal. Um, and we started cleaning up for that and then I just started cleaning. And I just, I found that powdered stuff that your grandma uses and oh man that stuff works and so I've just been going nuts with it and so I've been doing this manic cleaning I mean just like cleaning cabinets just cleaning the outsides of cabinets having some sort of control over my environment. There is a kid's book that we're reading. There's no such thing as dragons. Dragon shows up, kid goes, hey mom, there's a dragon. And the, kid, and the mom says, there's no such thing as dragons. And so, the, so they ignore the dragon, so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it fills the house. And it's such a wonderful analogy for ignoring a problem. And it just gets bigger until it's in every room of the house and you can't get away from it. And it's just filling your whole life and your whole family. And the mom keeps going, there's no such thing. And it just gets worse until they finally acknowledge it. And then it's tiny, it's tiny as a kitten and it's fine. And she's like, oh, this is, this is no big deal. Well, yeah, once you address a problem and recognize it and, and admit that it's there, you can actually deal with it. Anyway, the beginning of this story, it's like, oh, and the dragon got so big, it took mother all morning to clean the downstairs, and she's got the mops, and she's got the dusters, and she's, you know, the, that's what she does every morning, clean the whole downstairs. And I'm like, oh. So the children's book are raising the bar on my, what I do during the day. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. And there's so many, there's so many other webcomic or, you know, friends of mine who are like, I can't, I can't do comics. I can't do anything funny. It's all just so overwhelming. And I feel a little bit bad that I'm just doing, I'm still doing comics and only a little bit because I recognize that you need a respite. We're all doing this marathon it's not a, it's not a sprint. It's not going to be over in a minute. Uh, so we, so we need, you need those rest stops at a marathon. You need that little glass of water to keep you going. Um, and I'm like, I want to, I want to, I need to post, I need to find some, I love that everyone's finding, uh, groups that are, that are doing something and say, okay, contribute to this group. These are, these are, you know, black women who are trying to feed communities and these are others and I need to find other than just the catch-all of NAACP uh, to promote to post about and and then we've got the LGBTQ which which they got the the right to not be persecuted the right to not be fired because of who they are which is a really basic right and so, you know, like, oh, oh, yay. Oh, I mean, it's worth celebrating. But the fact that we're still fighting for this shit. Um, sorry. Uh, and COVID's still here. But, you know, we've, we've got some protests going on. We, I mean, protests. And I've got a couple of friends who are cops. I, I don't want to say the poor cops, but man... Yeah, we gotta get some. We gotta get some stuff done. Some stuff has to change. Do some some comics. What are we doing about comics? We're gonna work on some comics. Yeah. Wait. Well, dang it! I lost my train of thought of the. Uh, This one guy was like, oh, 
He likes throwing, it was in the comment section uh, of, of my Patreon. Uh, he likes throwing his, his kid onto the bed and she loved getting thrown. And at one point she threw one of her dolls and he goes, we don't throw babies. And she goes, yes, we do. And he goes, okay, yeah, we do, but <laughs> only on beds. And so there's a lot of, we don't do this, but in parenting. And I sat down to, I, uh, there's 10 orders I have to fulfill for people ordering books of mine. And so I sat down to sign them and then stopped and turned to the little one and was like, we don't draw in books unless we made the book ourselves." And then I had signed all the books. Are you going to make your own book? And so we can get a piece of paper and there's a way to fold it and cut it and it turns into it. You know, you can have a, a little mini eight page book. Yeah, don't do that. Do you need some more milk? Drink a little bit of milk. Just a little choking. It was a little piece. A little piece of your toast. Yeah, because the back of your throat. You gotta work it out. I should let you guys go. In the back of your throat? Yeah. Into your toes? The piece of toast is going into your toes? Yes. It breaks down and your body uses it for energy. Yeah. Okay. Getting some energy. I should eat my toast. So. Clean it up. Did you know you're supposed to clean your, your vent? <laughs> With your, your oven vent? It started having black drips on the, and I was like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's the, it's the vent that, and all the grease has gotten up there and now it's dripping and you can pull it out and put it, what, what is she doing? And you can, you can, apparently my landlady wants me to put this in the dishwasher. Yeah, so I've been going a little bit nuts on the cleaning and it's still a little bit slimy. All right, she's done. All right, all done. Thank you guys. Have fun. Do well. Breathe. Hug somebody. Wear your mask. We got this. We got it. We're still going. We're still moving forward. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.